All right, hey everybody. So I've taken a bit of a break. Um, so I apologize for that, but I, I needed some time. Uh, the last year has been really, really difficult. Um, where to start? <laughs> so I separated from my wife of 11 years in around June, early June, maybe late May. And that alone was very difficult. Um, <laughs> it got more difficult. And you know what? Go ahead and comment below if I'm way wrong on the way I feel about it. Um, it's, you know, subjective, I guess. But, you know, because maybe I'm wrong, but just to give like the short story of version of it, you know, I can't say I was always the best husband. I had a lot of things that I did that were, you know, I wasn't good at showing my affections, my emotions that well. I was, um, you know, I, I loved my wife very deeply. I really did. Um, but I didn't show it. And that was, you know, probably the biggest issue. It was one of many issues. Um, but that, that was one of the biggest ones. There were plenty of things that she did that I thought were, they were wrong as well. Um, I, you know, there were a lot of times that I was looking for support from her and I didn't necessarily get it. And, you know, I kind of held a lot of that in and it would just kind of boil up sometimes and it just kind of tended to fester, I guess. So... <sighs> Basically, we separated. It was actually the second time we separated. Um, I thought when we separated this time that it was going to be similar to the last time where we took some time apart, still saw each other, and kind of took time and worked things out. Uh, unfortunately, that is not what happened. Maybe fortunately. Um, instead, she kind of went out and um, took my son on a trip with another man, slept in bed with this man in front of my son, our son. Um, he, he was upset by it. I was extremely upset by it, obviously. And because of that being upset, I, you know, I, I still forgave her for that. You know, maybe I'm wrong, again, put in the comments, maybe I'm wrong for, you know, wanting to continue to try and fix things after that point. But I did, I did want to try and fix things. But at the same time, I was very hurt. I was very upset and distraught over the whole thing. Um, so, you know, I had definite moments where I turned on her pretty much and just kind of let out everything that had been bothering me over the past several years. Um, but the thing that didn't change was I did still love her a lot. And I mean, in a way, I always will. Um, it, it'll be, it's hard to let go of a relationship after 11 years, you know. Um, even after having my trust betrayed in that way, I still, you know, I don't necessarily blame her entirely. I mean, like I said, I have some fault in this. There's, it's not... It's not something where, you know, one person is always going to be at fault. But that, that's kind of the way things worked out. And it sucks. It hurt a lot. It still does hurt, you know. Uh, even seven, eight months later, it's still not, it doesn't, doesn't feel good. Um, I can say that. Um, but I tried to you know, smooth things over, and I tried to say, and you know, I really would have, I would have forgiven her and said, okay, let's start over, but, you know, she didn't want that. Um, I would ask her frequently, do you want to, like, do you want to get divorced? The only thing she would say is, I don't want to be married, which was giving me such mixed messages, because it's not, because she's not saying just flat out, I want a divorce. She's saying, I don't want to be married. So when she would kept telling me that, you know, I said, okay, so in July, I started the divorce process. Um, I think I'm, we're almost done with it. We've kind of come to a lot of agreements on everything. We're, we're in the final stages of just, you know, 
being done with it. And luckily for the most part, it's been amicable as far as everything goes. Unfortunately, I am in Florida where <laughs> no fault divorce is the only way because, you know, man, I kind of wish I was in a different state where fault divorce was the thing because being able to say, well, she cheated on me. Um, and again, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. I, I feel that's cheating, you know, because we hadn't said, hey, we want to get divorced. We hadn't said, hey, we're going to see other people. It was just, well, that happened. Um, and the guy didn't even last very long. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, I don't think he even knew. I, I don't blame him because I don't think he knew anything. I don't think she told him anything. She has a way of keeping concealing things. Um, so, you know, I, I, I kind of, I kind of wish that, you know, I could just have said, well, she cheated on me and, you know, we're not going to divide up everything like uh, she wanted. Cause I, I bought the house that I'm in before we were married. Um, but that doesn't really matter in the state of Florida very much. I mean, it does to a degree. Um, it can, it can be considered a premarital asset, but there's still, you know, some part that she would get out of it. So, you know, we came to an agreement on how much I would give her, which unfortunately basically sets me back entirely um, to where I'm essentially starting my mortgage over at a higher amount than I even paid for it. Um, it's still worth far more than I bought it for. I got, I, I, made a wise choice when I bought it. I bought it for only 170. So, you know, it's, well, it's worth far more than that now. And that's, that's good. Um, but I have to pay her an amount, which is unfortunate because it, it kind of screws me over. It's more than the principal I've even paid off on my loan. Um, so <sighs> that part sucks a lot. And even that's not the worst part. The worst part is the breaking up of the family, the divorce, the, the marriage ending. That, that, that is really the worst part. You know, the money, it sucks. The marriage ending, that really sucks. It's hard on my son. It's hard on me. Um, I'm sure it's hard on her in a lot of ways. Um, but you can't change people. You can't change their minds always. Even, even though I've, you know, I've changed a bit, a good bit, actually. Um, I, you know, I don't expect her to believe any of that and she won't and it's fine because that's just the way it is. Um, I probably shouldn't and I, and I don't, you know, I've, I've moved on. I've met a very wonderful girl, a uh, woman, um, that's actually a year younger than me. So that's kind of cool. Uh, my wife was five years older than me. So, you know, there's a little bit of an age difference there. So to have somebody that's a year younger and be in the same you know, the closer to the same age group is very nice, and her birthdays are very close, so that's good as well. Um, you know, her, her and myself and my son, all, all of our birthdays are actually within a week of each other, so that's very cool. Um, but, yeah, it, it's been a very difficult time. Also, <laughs> early on last year, um, my father got diagnosed with stomach cancer, and unfortunately... He was the kind of guy that never wanted to go to the doctor. By the time I finally convinced him to go and he found out that he had stomach cancer, it had spread really everywhere um, to the point there was nothing they could do and it was just a waiting game. So we found that out in July around the same time I was getting divorced and I was going through that. I had already lost my mom a few years before that, so losing my father also losing my family, I needed to take some time. Um, I needed to take a, a, a break. I mean, you might have seen, if you ever checked out my Twitch, you would have seen that I had a few streams where I really wasn't doing well. I just couldn't, I couldn't pull myself out of, out of the depression that I was in at that time. Um, there was just so much. But I'm going to start my next video soon, and that's going to be a sort of a getting over divorce video. Um, you know, in the, the, like I said, it's been about seven or eight months. I, I feel like I've started to get a better handle on things. Um, it took time. It took time. It's still taking time. I'm still not fully, 
fully over it. Uh, it's hard, and it's it's going to be. Divorce is never going to be easy. It's never. It wasn't something I ever wanted either. Obviously, it's. I think the the divorce laws that we live with, in a lot of places, especially in the United States, are really terrible. I think not only are they unfair to really both sides. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It, it's really based on your income. But I think the divorce laws themselves are terrible because they really encourage they encourage divorce honestly they they don't there's some states like South Carolina where you have to wait a year before you can even um, file for a no fault divorce. I think that's a bit more realistic because uh, that gives you time to work on things, work on yourself and if you violate that then yeah then it's the fault divorce where you know, yeah, you, the other person doesn't get anything. There's a penalty for it. I think not having a penalty for divorce is a huge problem because when there's not a penalty, because there's always going to be a penalty. There's, there's Somebody's going to be penalized for getting divorced. That's just the way it is. Um, I mean, I I bought this house before we were married. I was the one, only one paying the mortgage the entire time. She worked. I didn't ask her to pay the mortgage. She didn't have to. We agreed that it was my house at the beginning, but she didn't. Uh, live up to that agreement. I, she's offered to do a prenup, and I, I really should have. Um, but you know, it's a lesson for a uh, future, I guess. I, I'm not saying I never want to get married again because someday I certainly do. I, I hope that the relationship I'm in now carries on and has and goes and continues to go very well because it's going great now. Um, I just, uh, I just wanted to take the time to talk about all this, get it off it out there and just you know explain where I've been because it's been a long time I don't think I've uploaded a video for probably in the last seven eight months probably maybe more um, just just too much too much going on so I think thanks for staying with me I appreciate that and um, I'll see you on the next one which will be like I said, trying to get over, uh, talking about how to get over divorce and ways to do that. Things that I figured out over the course of things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, try not to die.